Today, we're hanging some ribs. Hey everybody, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. I'm your host as always, Captain Ron. Today, we're gonna use something we haven't done in a while. We're gonna use our cotton gin barrel smoker. That's right, we're gonna hang some ribs in there. So you've seen us do it before with our lump charcoal, but today we wanna try it out with our new 100% all natural briquettes. That's right, they're made of coconut shells. Did I tell you that? Pretty cool. So we've used a bunch of lump in the cotton gin before, so I'm curious to see how the briquettes are gonna to perform too. I got two beautiful racks of St. Louis ribs. We're gonna put some basic seasoning on them and just cook them up like that. So. Let's go ahead and check out the grill. All right, so it is South Florida. It's September and it's about 98 degrees out and it just rained. So it is like an absolute sauna out here. I have sweat dripping in my eyes, but because we love you, we are pushing hard. So we're gonna grab our charcoal basket. All right, we're gonna set it over here. We're gonna fill it up with some briquettes. We're gonna fill it up with a blazer ball with some starters and get this fire going. There's a couple different ways that you could light your charcoal like this, okay? You could use a, ch a chimney starter, put your charcoal in a chimney, light it, and then pour it all in here. You can use a blazer ball with some things. That's what we're gonna do with some starters. That's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna light this, put it in the bottom, and then pour the charcoal on top. Now what I like about this cotton gin charcoal basket is it has a spot here for air to get in underneath. So the fire's up on top of that. So I'm just gonna fill this baby up. And there we go. Now our fire has started to reach the top charcoals in here and it's starting to ash over a little. So we're gonna go ahead and load this into here, just like this. It just sets right down in the middle. And that's it, okay? I'm not gonna put the, anything in there yet because once, it, right before we're ready to put the ribs on, we're gonna put some smoking chunks in there. We got those beautiful smoky bourbon, bourbon barrel chips. They're made, did you know that they're made from aged barrels that have had bourbon aging in them? All right, now we got our charcoal in there and it's burning up pretty good. We wanna get this thing up to temperature. So the way that this works is we're gonna close all of these, okay? And the way the cotton gin works, we have an intake, an intake, and an exhaust. So for getting it to temperature, we're gonna open them all the way. And we're gonna let this thing come up to temperature. While this is doing that, let's get to work on the ribs. Now, finally, it's time to prep our ribs. So I already did a lot of the work on them, okay? I trimmed off a lot of the excess fat, all the little loose little pieces, okay? I trimmed up the backs here. Um, one thing I wanna talk about is that I'm not going to take the membrane off. When I'm hanging my ribs, I don't like to take the membrane off. I like to have as much stuff together to hold it as tight together as possible. So all I do in this case is just take my knife and I just score it. I just score the back, just like this. Okay, in a crisscross pattern, just like that, okay? Okay, we're just gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of your favorite pork rub. I'm using uh, Pork Mafia Memphis Mud. This is good stuff right here, my favorite pork rub. And when you do it, just simply sprinkle it on. Now you wanna push down on it, don't rub it, okay? I know it's called rub, I don't rub it, just push it down in there. Okay, like I said before, get the sides, get the bottom, get everything, cover everything. With the cotton gin, with any barrel smoker, you're gonna get these handy dandy little hooks. This hangs on the top, this you put your meat on, so all you do is you take your ribs and find a bone, okay, and go underneath that bone. So you wanna have it hanging underneath the bone. Just put it through, just like that. We got hanging ribs now, baby. A couple cool things about cooking on a barrel smoker or a cotton gin like this is you have options, okay? We're gonna cook it right over the fire. I'm not gonna put any deflector, but you can use a deflector plate in there. It goes, sits right on top of the charcoal basket like this, just above it, and it's gonna deflect the heat and kind of cause more of a disbursement. The way we're doing this today, it's not necessary. It's up to you. You can do it either way. When you hang ribs, you can use this or not. It's up to you. The other nice part about this cotton gin is that it has a front window here where you can access things. You don't have to open the top and lose all your heat. So I'm gonna take my smoking blocks. I'm gonna put two right in the center of my fire. I'm gonna put two right on the edge. Now we waited till our, temp our temperature was fully up to temperature. So we're at 275 degrees before we put our wood in. So it's time to hang some ribs. Now, when it comes to hanging ribs, you need something to hang them on. So it comes with this beautiful handy dandy brace here. Just set it in there like that, okay? And we take our ribs and all we do is hang it on these bars. Now you notice too, I hung them just on the outside of the fire, not directly over the flames. Uh, one thing you want to do when you're cooking in a cotton gin or a barrel smoker like this, is you want to take them and rotate your ribs. Now, it's really simple. You could take each rack off at a thing like that, or you can just pick this up, turn it to the next notch, and set it right back down. Instant rotated ribs, good to go. All right, all you fine folks out in Fogo land out there, uh, we have gotten to the three and a half hour mark and these ribs are ready and they are looking awesome. Check this out. Oh. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them right out. They are ready and they are looking so good. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Dripping, they are dripping, I tell you. And 
Number two, whoop, look at that, fell right off. That's how beautifully done they are. A couple of ways that we knew our ribs were done. First of all, we tempt them, all right? They were temping like 195, 200 area, that's good. So the other way we know is that when you pick them up and they bend like that and see how the skin is just starting to crack a little bit right there, it's not breaking all the way, that is like a perfectly done rib. Now, when you're cooking them like this and you're hanging them, you don't wanna cook them so that they fall off the bone because that's what, guess what's gonna happen when they're hanging? They're gonna fall off the hook. Right, we don't want that, no. So I like my ribs with a little bit of bite through them anyway, so I think it's time to cut some open and let's see what we got. Some beautiful things about this rib that we wanna look for. First of all, the bark is a gorgeous color, but look at a beautiful smoke ring around the outside. Is that just gorgeous? It's cotton gin and these briquettes seem like they are match made in heaven. Folks, those are some outstanding looking ribs, if I may say so myself. I mean, they got beautiful bark, they got gorgeous color, gorgeous smoke ring all around. They got perfect pullback on the bone right there. It just doesn't get any better than that. So these are about three and a half hours. Um, our temperature spiked almost at 300 at some point, so we had 275 to 300, I would say, was our cooking temperature. But one nice thing about these, nice, clean bite. Look at that. It's a perfect bite through bite. Delicious, too, let me tell you. That seasoning is awesome. This cotton gin gives such beautiful flavor, but even better than that, the briquettes, they give a little bit different flavor than the lump, I'll tell you that. They're made of coconut shells, if you haven't heard already. And I'll tell you, it gives off a nice, mild, smoky flavor. I love them. So I would say that our briquettes and the cotton gin worked out really well. These turned out perfectly. They're tender, they're everything. So that's our, that's our video for this week, folks. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe, join us, join the Fogo family. Subscribe to our channel, come back every week and see what we've got. If you saw anything that we use in the video here and you're interested in, in getting them, there's a link down below. There's also a link below for the recipe for the ribs. You can do it on whatever grill you're cooking on, okay? It's the same basic recipe. So that's everything I've got for you folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's gonna rain again in a couple minutes, so I'm gonna run inside right now. That's everything I got. So remember that wherever you are, get out and grill, okay? And I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.